Fedora 42, or Linux Mint 22, one's built for developers who need cutting-edge tools, the other's the productivity champion that just works. Both excellent for work, totally different approaches. If this helps you decide, smash that like button, let's compare! Quick context, Fedora 42 released April 2025 with GNOME 48, new web UI installer, and the latest dev toolchains, Python 3.13, GCC 15, and AI integration with IBM Granite. Linux Mint 22.2 is the latest stable release based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS with Cinnamon 6.4 supporting until 2029. It's the distro that prioritizes stability and familiar workflows above everything else. Out of box productivity. This is where they truly differ. Linux Mint comes ready for work immediately. Multimedia codecs installed, all common apps bundled, Windows-like interface. You can start being productive within five minutes of installation. Fedora requires post-install setup. Enable RPM Fusion for codecs, configure developer tools, and familiarize yourself with GNOME's workflow. It's not difficult, but it's an extra step. Desktop environments for work. Linux Mint Cinnamon 6.4 desktop loads 15-20% faster than previous versions and uses a traditional taskbar layout familiar if you're coming from Windows. Nightlight feature reduces blue light for late night work sessions, supporting both X11 and Wayland. Power profile switching lets you quickly toggle between performance and battery saving modes. Fedora 42's GNOME 48 is gesture-driven and minimalist, no desktop icons. Activities overview replaces the start menu. It's productivity-focused but requires learning a new workflow. The upside? Once you adapt, GNOME's workflow is exceptionally efficient with virtual workspaces and keyboard shortcuts. Developer productivity. Specifically, if you're coding, Fedora 42 is unmatched. You get Python 3.13, Node.js latest, GCC 15, and access to IBM's Granite AI for IDE assistance all current versions within weeks of release. The new WebUI Anaconda installer even supports automated partition layouts for dual boot setups. Fedora packages can now include x 866 v 3 optimized executables, delivering 10 to 120% performance improvements in compute-intensive workloads. Linux Mint 22.2 has Python 3.13 and modern tools too, but they're from Ubuntu 24.04's frozen repositories. For long-term development projects where consistency matters more than bleeding-edge features, Mint stability is actually an advantage. Software Availability and Management Linux Mint's Software Manager clearly distinguishes native dev packages from flat packs and blocks unverified flat packs by default, crucial for security. The app selection emphasizes office productivity. LibreOffice, Thunderbird, and GNOME Calendar work perfectly out of the box. Fedora uses DNF5, which now auto-removes expired repository keys, nice automation but also shows Fedora's move-fast philosophy. Fedora defaults to Flatpak for apps, which some users find less integrated than native packages. Real-world work scenarios. For office productivity, content creation, and standard business workflows, Linux Mint wins on immediate usability. High DPI scaling is properly configured, printer support is comprehensive, and the learning curve is minimal. For software development, system administration, DevOps work, or anything involving containers and cloud infrastructure, Fedora 42 provides tools you'll actually use daily, Podman, Toolbex, updated compilers, and technologies that mirror Red Hat enterprise environments. The update philosophy impact on productivity. This matters more than people think. Fedora updates every six months, you're getting new features, but also adapting to changes twice yearly. Linux Mint point releases come with security updates and refinements, but keep your workflow consistent for years. If you hate relearning where settings moved or dealing with UI changes, Mint respects your time more. Bottom line, choose Linux Mint. If productivity means getting work done without system maintenance, you value stability over features, or you're migrating from Windows. Choose Fedora 42 if you're developing software professionally, need the latest tools and technologies, or you work in Red Hat ecosystems. Both are productivity powerhouses, just for different definitions of productivity. What type of work are you doing? Drop it in the comments. Subscribe for more Linux comparisons, and check the description for installation guides. See you next time!